morning guys it's about 7 a.m. looks like it's gonna be a it's kind of hard to tell here in Oregon it changes every 10 minutes but it's cloudy right now so it's about 65 degrees uh, I got something I want to work on today and I got a couple of things to show you actually so let's take a look so as always I will leave links in the description although I don't know how helpful they will be because these were on eBay and a local hardware store so you guys may remember that I ordered this a while back this is a remote for the uh, 24 volt 1800 watt inverter so we're gonna get that installed today my idea is to get that mounted on a plate like this that's gonna mount to one of these boxes um, I've modified one of these boxes already you see I snapped that little tab off or this guy this is the remote display that shows all kinds of information on what's going on with the solar charge controller so we're gonna get this installed and this actually fits in just a standard um, plastic box just like that but it's got 50 free 50 feet of telephone cable that we need to pull in and then obviously the excess will be stored inside of there, but oh, Not sure what I want to do first should we pull cable or should we modify the cover to mount um, the actual remote? I Guess we'll just get started and you'll find out
All right, guys, I got the uh, control boxes mounted. Sorry, the lighting in here is crap. This is pretty neat. It's got a uh, backlight. You turn on and off, and then you can reset the uh, amp hours on it. So right now it's really cloudy out, and uh, looks like we're still pulling in, you know, 105 watts out of the possible 1120 I have on a cloudy day and it's pulling in 4 amps. There is a jumper, I don't know if you noticed when I, I was installing this, there is a jumper on the back of this little control unit and I set the, I didn't set it, it was set at 12 volts so I had to open it back up and change it to 24 volts but this is a cool little unit it mounts directly to just a plastic outdoor box or a regular, you know, mud ring box or whatever. Um, and then the Xantrex remote, of course, I've got up here. That basically just extends from where the faceplate was originally on the box. And I cut out a hole on this and mounted it. It looks really sharp. So i got a nice little control panel set up. And uh, once again, when we're sleeping at night, I can just open up this cabinet and put the door in front of all these bright lights and that'll dim them down and then on this side um, the status light still flashes on this uh, on the actual controller so at night when we sleep we just take the towels and fold them over just like that and you can't see that light at night but turned out good um, I was able to get everything routed around in a somewhat orderly fashion it's just telephone cables, so. Uh, and then this remote also has a switch on it to uh, turn the um, inverter on and off. And just routed it around just like this. And you guys probably saw all that in the time lapse. So, got one more thing to show you guys here that's kind of give you, gonna give you a hint as to what's coming up in our build series. And this is a big one. So Warren started making these sidewinders recently, and uh, I know you guys know there's another company that makes these, Factory 55 or Factor 55 or whatever it is. However, when I was doing some research on them, um, this actually has an 18,000 pound working load, and then it breaks at 64,000 pounds. And... Um, when I was searching on Amazon, these came up. You know, I was searching for the factory 55 ones, and then these came up. And then there was an open box version, and I think it was like 90 bucks or something. There's nothing wrong with it. I opened it up. There's not a single scratch on it. But you know how Amazon does that all the time. But you basically put your synthetic line in here or whatnot, and then it sits flat against the, um, what would it be? for a synthetic line to be a it wouldn't be a fair lead it'd be a winch house or something like that fair house i'm not sure i can't remember it's been a while since i've worked with winches but then it came with this little isolator that mounts on the block there to protect the um well you can just read it right there so i got those two things that little polyurethane block was like nine bucks or something so we'll set these aside um, I'll leave a link in the description for this one too, but I think that's probably going to be it for this episode today, guys. If you like this episode, oh, that's bright. If you like this episode, give me a, uh, thumbs up. Give me a like. If you're not subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. I don't know what the deal is with the lighting on the camera right now. But other than that, take care, guys. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.